Amusement Park Portal. Here we are, opening day 2023 at Cedar Point, America's Rock and Roller Coaster. Right here in front of me is the main entrance to Cedar Point. There's a lot going on today. Uh, they did a lot of work over the off season. We got the new boardwalk project. We're gonna check out what's going on with Dragster. I hear there's some footers in the ground. We're gonna check out some new of the food options that they have to offer this year. And I guess they got a new arcade, a few new restaurants, nets. We're gonna look at it all. So why don't you come on inside and join us? Okay, here we are at the new boardwalk area at Cedar Point. And what a wonderful job they did. I mean, the whole area is just fresh. It's got some nice new colors. Everything kind of blends together in this area. And of course, the new mouse coaster right back here. Uh, hey, and look what we got here. Yeah. Some traveling going on. Oh. Look at that. Awesome. We have a full show at 240 in front of the Ferris wheel. If any of you can be there, we'd love to see you. Thank you. All right. That was pretty cool. So yeah, they do have some roaming uh, entertainment around in the area as well. Pretty cool. But um, the boardwalk area spans from where the beach entrance is over here next to Windseeker all the way down over there to roughly where Gatekeeper is um, down here. Let's go and take a look. Yes, we do. Okay, so what over here we have the rethemed Atomic Scrambler. They moved over here from uh, elsewhere in the park. And wow, looks pretty cool. I like the colors. Um, I like the name and let's take a better look at it right here. Oh yeah, they totally repainted the old Scrambler. It's got some nice designs on the back of the tubs here. Looks really, really nice. Awesome. That's the Atomic Scrambler now. Not the Scrambler, the Atomic Scrambler. Now over here where the uh, chicken restaurant used to be, the uh, counter service, they have one of these Cedar Point trucks uh, with beer taps on it. So probably some time over the summer, um, we'll be serving alcoholic beverages out of there. Here's a look at the Atomic Scrambler sign right here. Pretty cool. I like the retro look. It's kind of like the 50s or 60s maybe um, look to it, really retro. And over here we have the Matterhorn, which is the other ride that was moved into this area. Uh, now the Matterhorn and the Scrambler used to sit next to each other down kind of in the middle of the park, uh, right on the main midway, but now they're both over here on the boardwalk. And they refresh the ride, move it over here. It's got some new colors in it. You can tell they threw a little purple in there. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they got some new lighting on the outside. You can see it right here along the top. And they have also have a new sign for the Matterhorn as well right here. I really like this. I'm getting like uh, Matterhorn bobsled vibes from uh, Disneyland here. Pretty cool. Right here. And the queue line is off to the side. So that looks really nice. Now over here, uh, where the basketball, the three-point challenge is, they've repainted it. And we got some new colors. It's still a three-point challenge, yep. But uh, all new colors and that. And they have hats as prizes this year. Looks like uh, various uh, basketball teams. And right here we had the Calypso, which was formerly the Calypso. Then it went into Tiki Twirl, and now it's Calypso again. I know it's confusing, but yeah, I really like the new theming uh, they did with this, the paint. Like I said, it all blends in really well together. Here's a look at the sign. And here's the Calypso over here. You can see all new fresh colors right here. And they're playing the Calypso uh, music on there. And a new Calypso sign up on the back end here too. So really nice. And then right behind the Calypso in the Ferris wheel here is the Grand Pavilion, which uh, we'll show in this video as well. Okay, lots of new landscaping in the area. 
you can see here. We walk a little further down here. Lots of bushes, mulch. They got a few trees here and there. And here's some of that entertainment we were talking about right here. Let's take a quick look. Some of the roving entertainment they have on the boardwalk here which is really cool i like that um and of course here's the giant wheel i don't really think they've done much to the giant wheel this year except for open the area in front a little bit more but there's a picture of the giant wheel oh wait i think they do have a new sign for the giant wheel over here i wanted to show um we're over here by the fast lane entrance so pretty sharp sign. It's got like the classic sunburst thing behind it, the Cedar Point sunburst uh, right behind it here. Uh, let's take a look at that. Pretty cool. Of course, there's a line for the giant whale. And the last ride we're going to take a look at in this area is Troika Troika Troika, which also received a new paint job this year. And a new sign, I believe that's new. It looks different than the old one did, if it's not. But uh, yeah, it's received a new paint job and a new sign up here in front. Very cool. Right there. All right, and here we'll take a look at the colors on Troika now. It looks beautiful, but I'm still not sure what I think about this color combination uh, of the Troika. It's got like the kind of like bluish color supports on the, and then the orange arms and purple in the middle there. So I'm not sure what I think about the color combination, but it does look fresh and it does fit in with the entire uh, beach area here, which is nice. And now here we are at the opposite end of the boardwalk. Right over here. And you, as you can see, they have another boardwalk sign right over here by the games area. That uh, is kind of like the gateway to the boardwalk on this end of the midway. So that's the entire boardwalk area. And the new garbage cans too. I, I definitely want to mention those. These are pretty cool. Disney-esque, but uh, that's the entire boardwalk area. Hope you enjoyed this little tour. All right, here's the new Cedar Point Grand Pavilion. And if you've been following our construction updates, you've seen it, uh, well, from when it was a hole in the ground to this. And honestly, I'm very impressed. This is on like uh, almost Disney caliber level. It's uh, absolutely beautiful. They did a great job. It fits right in with the boardwalk and beach motif that they got going on here. It's uh, very large and airy inside. Uh, so let's go inside and check it out. All right, as soon as you walk in, it's the main uh, food area here where you can order your meals. And they have a nice little queue area set up. You've got two sides going on. Uh, we're gonna go to the left here, just because. And 
hard to see them and you all get some pictures of it posted on our Facebook page, but it's up there. And you can also go upstairs over here. There's dining rooms on the inside and outside. You can sit outside right on uh, the water. You can get the water while you eat. Uh, they do have some of the stained glass in here. I believe this is from the Breakers Hotel, the original Breakers. Uh, I'm not positive. I'll have to double check on that, but this is what that looks like right here. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see right here by the cash register. So. We're going to grab some food and I'll let you know how it is. Right, here they go. They got lots of selections. They got key lime pie, strawberry shortcake for dessert, slow roasted turkey breast, the dry rub pork tenderloin, the funnel cake fried shrimp, beer battered fish. Uh, is this cod or is this? It's cod. Okay. Chicken tenders. Uh, we have steak fries, Syracuse salt potatoes. Uh, tropical fried rice. We got glazed pineapple and a roll. And over here we have shaved Brussels slaw, cold ramen noodle salad, and marinated cucumber. Here are your choices. All right, and this is what we're working with. I got the pork tenderloin. I got some steak fries. You get a roll with your meal here. And I opted for uh, this is extra. This is not included with the meal, but the glazed pineapple. They uh, consider that a dessert. So I'm going to dive into this and I'll let you know how it is. Alright, just got done with my meal here at uh, the Grand Pavilion at Cedar Point. Pretty good. Uh, I got the pork, which was pretty tender. Had a good seasoning to it. It was really good. Fries, steak fries, well, they're, they were good. They were steak fries. Uh, the roll was good. And I got the pineapple here. That was pretty good too. It's uh, like they brushed it with sugar and threw it on a grill. Uh, it was pretty sweet. I like that. It's a good dessert option if you're not into the heavier stuff or if you're on a diet. You know, it's perfect. Uh, chicken tenders that everybody else got. They said they were delicious. They're tender. I tried a piece and uh, I concur. They were pretty good. Um, excellent food here. The, everything we had was good. Um, only complaint I would have maybe is the menu options are a little kind of different, you know, so if you're picky on what you eat, you may not like some of this stuff here, but um, overall, I'm overly impressed uh, with, with the options they have here. So come check out the Grand Pavilion here at Cedar Point, right on the water. All right, just off the upstairs dining room is the doors to the outdoor patio. And what a view. Look at this. Uh, you can come out here and enjoy your meal or a drink right on the beach. Uh, I mean, you're literally like right on the beach. As a matter of fact, part of this patio goes outside the park and over the beach. I mean, like right over here. Yeah, there's uh, Lake Erie right here. Pretty cool. There is plenty of seating available out here as well. So uh, they've got this over here, and then they got the two sides. Uh, we can walk over to this side here. And on the per one side over here, you can get a great view of the Wild Mouse Coaster. Well, I lied. You can't get to the other patio from over here, but you can go inside the door here and around, which is what we're going to do here right now. Okay, and right over here is one of the side uh, eating areas. Both sides of the building have an eating area like this up on top, like a patio. And get a good look at the mouse coaster right over here from this area. And um, in the concept art, this is just a green area. The grass will grow in. They got the spray grass down here right now. But that'll be nice. It'll be a nice area for you just to kind of chill out. Lay down, relax if you want for a few minutes. Get away from all the, the craziness of the park. And what a view of the beach. You can see Magnum all the way down there. Of course, Windseeker, Silk City. Um, wow. Awesome view of the beach right here. Uh, thing to note also. 
is there is no outside the park entrance to this Grand Pavilion. Um, you have to go through the Marina Gate, which or the Beach Gate rather, which is right over here, and walk through this little pathway to get inside the pavilion. There is no option to enter it from outside the park. So just a little uh, hint for you there, but what a great view of the mouse coaster. Look at this. Very cool. So let's go check out the rest of this building. Right upstairs in the Grand Pavilion, they have a bar. And here's some of the current options that they have at the bar. They have Fueling, uh, Astra, Hard Seltzer, Red Cream, Miller Lite, Dogfish Head, looks like Mandarin and Mango, and Fat Head's Head Hunter. Um, we can take a quick look at the cocktail menu here. I'm not gonna read them all off, but you can take a look at it. Right here. Watermelon Summer Sensation. That sounds really good. Yeah, it looks like the majority of them are 15 bucks uh, for your drink here. And here's some of the beer selections that they have. All kinds of beer. And some frozen cocktails as well. couple that stand out they got the little obviously the frozen frozen margaritas pina coladas frozen lemonade frozen watermelon refresher that sounds good um, and frozen coke with uh, you can get vanilla coke regular coke with Jack Daniels if you have coke um, one thing to note on here too if you like any of these drinks but don't drink alcohol they got you covered they have spirit free versions of the drinks as well uh, so you are able to get the uh, spirit free uh, free uh, versions as well here So that's it and if you look over here in the bar area in the front They have like a roller coaster looking thing that holds their liquor bottle. I find that really cool Looks really nice and back here Are the frozen options like I said the margaritas pina coladas jack and cokes uh, frozen lemonades and amongst some others that look delicious that we will be sampling over the summer this year so uh, let's go take a look elsewhere around here. All right, if you're not in the mood to get a full-blown meal here, uh, you can, like I said, you can grab a drink and they've got plenty of seating over in the area. The bar is right here to your left in these uh, couch and lounge chairs. And they do have snacks available out here. Let's go take a look. Uh, they have artisan flatbread pizzas. Uh, looks like a couple different kinds right here. And jumbo chicken wings. Uh, those look like garlic parmesan, I believe. Let's see here. No, it's sweet Thai chili and garlic parmesan. I'm just kind of looking at it. Right now we're missing the pretzels. The pretzels? Okay. Alright, they have uh, the breaded cheese curds as well, but they are missing the pretzels currently. Um, which they do have, which are the Bavarian pretzel sticks served with stadium mustard and nacho cheese. They would normally be right here. Yep, and the Bavarian nuts. Candy nuts. Candy nuts. Those are the ones that smell really good, right? When you're walking by them and they're making them. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not warm right now. Not warm right now? Oh, those are good though. And then they have some basic drink selections for you here. They have some waters, body armor. Smart water, if you drink this, you, you make it a little smarter. So uh, that's just some of the options they have. And then they have another Coke machine here. If you have uh, uh, the drink plan, you're able to use that. And one thing that's really nice is just some of the details they have around here, like the wallpaper they have through here. And the tile work exceptionally stands out. I mean, it's kind of raised. It's hard to tell in a video, but these tiles are actually raised to come back. It's kind of like a scale look looks really nice another one of the features that really stands out in here is the views I mean like I said I mentioned the mouse coaster but we also have this view going down the grand staircase right here of the giant wheel and right here you can see the rest of the beach midway as well walking down the stairs what a great view and just over here to the side of the bar, they do have restrooms available. Uh, they are upstairs. 
And I am told they do have an elevator to get up here too, so if um, you do need help getting up, you can't make it up the stairs or uh, wheelchair strollers, anything like that, you are able to use an elevator. Uh, I've yet to find it, but I'm told it is up here somewhere. But you can just see how expansive this whole top area is. It's absolutely breathtaking up here. Beautiful. It kind of feels like something you would run into at Disney. Um, you know. But uh, over here is the other patio area. Opposite side of the building than the Wild Mouse. And you can get a great view of Gatekeeper from right over here. There's Gatekeeper. Then you have Max Air in the games area right over here. Um, something new I wanted to point out this year also is these coverings over here by Gatekeeper. Right here. These are new. It's right behind the Gatekeeper sign. They got like a little patio area and some little round things you could sit down on and uh, relax if you'd like. But uh, those are new this year. More shade options. Shade is good. No. All right, just past the cash registers, they do have condiments. They have just basic uh, mustard, ketchup, forks, napkins, and all that. And they have a lot of artwork throughout here. Go, going to the Throwback Cedar Point artwork. Um, this is the, the water swing that these have right here out on the beach several years, or many years ago, I should say. But it's really nice. They've incorporated the history of the park throughout the entire building. And there is a lot of seating areas. Here's one of the downstairs seating areas right here. And they have two. There's one on this side of the building and an opposite side of the building. All right, we're currently in line for the Wild Mouse Coaster here at Cedar Point. It's testing at the moment. It's not quite open yet, but just by sitting here watching it, I gotta say there is a lot of spinning going on on this thing. Um, some of the cars spin more than others, like uh, or Zippy, I think, the pink one right here. Not doing much spinning, but if you notice, it's full of water dummies. All four seats um, are full of water dummies. Some only have two in it, like the cheese car here. And the ones that have two in it are spinning a lot more than the ones that have four in it. So if you're able to have two people on, if you can offset the car, two people sit on one side, you'll get a lot more spinning, than, a lot more than you would get if you have four people in the car. So kind of interesting. We'll wait for the cheese one to come down over here and you'll see what I mean. Going up the lift now. And I do notice some of the cars actually spin going up the lift, which is quite interesting. You can see there now, look at the cheese car spinning. Quite a bit more than the other car did that only had two water dummies in it. Look at that thing spin. Awesome. So, all right, we're gonna hop back in line here. Hopefully we can get a ride on this thing. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. Like I said, they're currently testing. They got representatives from uh, Zamperla up here working on the ride, uh, trying to get it open for everybody. So, uh, be back in a bit. Finally, we've been waiting all day to get off it, but we're on it. What a great ride, a lot of fun. You know, we got, we uh, kind of offset the car, we get a lot of spinning. We had the purple car, and we didn't start spinning until like the halfway uh, mark. You know, when you go to the, the top, you do that little like horseshoe turn. That got us uh, spinning pretty good. But what a fun ride, perfect fit for this park. I mean, it's not the tallest, fastest coaster in the world, but it doesn't have to be to just be fun, you know? And it's a great ride. The whole family can ride together. And that's something this park really needed. 
it kind of fills that gap. So a lot of fun. I highly recommend hitting the Wild Mouse Coaster for a good time here at Cedar Point. One of the other things this year changes is if you're looking for Johnny Rockets, well, you're out of luck. Johnny Rockets is gone. Um, yeah, sorry, this location is closed today. Now what I'm hearing is this will be turned into an arcade. You can kind of see inside right now. Completely empty. A lot of work going on though. And everything I've heard, it's going to be an arcade. So that's right over here by Kitty Land where the Johnny Rockets used to be. Right up here, all the signage has been removed. So interesting. Um, can't wait to see what they put in this arcade. If it's just going to be regular arcade games. Uh, but if you remember, years ago this used to be Fascination where you rolled the ball, you know, and had to get it like a tic-tac-toe, I believe, in, uh, in the holes to win the prizes. That would be really cool if they could bring something like that back. But we'll see. Okay, exciting news from over here at Cop Thrill Dragster. We have footers. Uh, they may be a little hard to see in the video here because uh, I can't zoom in with the GoPro, but right back here, I can see two of them, all three of them. There's actually a third one behind the, uh, the uh, excavator right there, but they're pretty big. I'd say they're a good five feet, you know, uh, wide, and they have the uh, metal sticking out of them that connect to the supports here, too, right here, the rebarb or whatever you want to call them. With the bolts on the end of them so there's three of them we got in their triangle shape which lines up right with dragster right here uh, i really can't get a very good look at dragster because the fences are uh, pretty high right now but there is a crane on site right here currently all right let's see if what we can see over here now there is a crane on site like i said right here I don't see anything besides the footers right now and a bunch of equipment. But there are markings kind of all over the place over where Scramble used to be. And if you look through here, ooh, if you see the station over there, there's big piles of dirt right there. Bunch of equipment, some shipping containers, not a whole lot more. But here, I'm going to reach you over here now. And you can see right there. Yep. So that's what we got up there. And we can take a look down this way if we're able to see anything. They got this all walled off and they did move the walls in. So the midway is a lot tighter than it was last year. Um, oh, we can peek through here as well. Right through there. You can see the station where it's right here and those three footers that are in a triangle formation line right up with the uh, the station of Top Thrill Dragster right there behind Iron Dragon, underneath Iron Dragon. So what the rumors, of, like I said, everything's a rumor at this point, but what I, the rumors I have heard is there's going to be another tower right underneath Iron Dragon and the new coaster is going to go underneath Iron Dragon and then up the tower and then swing back to the old Dragster tower that's uh, still there today. So that's what we got going on over here at Dragster, a lot of construction equipment earth moving equipment a huge crane right here and we have footers so that's it we're going to be uh documenting this all summer long so make sure you follow us on youtube and facebook uh to get all the latest updates uh as they come to us all right another thing worth noting too is they brought the fences in away from the water here over near iron dragon and this just this one area so they moved the fences in here and they've expanded the fence over here you can see it's a new fence um, over here by one of corkscrews uh, inversions used to be able to walk under here um, and be able to see the water and everything but this is all full now as you can see right over here yeah this is all new fencing put in here it wasn't here before right under corkscrews loop and they moved the fencing in um, over by Iron Dragon as well. Okay, in years 
past here at the Red Garden, they've usually opened up opening day and they've had like a cover band in here playing music, but not this year. It looks like things are going to be a little different. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like Red Garden Saloon's opening until the 20th. Uh, if the sign holds true right here. So sadly, no beer at the Red Garden today. The doors are locked. At the former spot of the wild turnips, they put up a sign that says Watkins Horse and Hatchery. Uh, let's see what this sign says here. Oh, well, this is interesting. They have emu eggs by the dozen, laid fresh daily. Emu wing dings smothered in Watkins special sauce. And emu egg yolk cocktails made with Crystal Rock Bottling Company moonshine served with the authentic emu eggshell. Uh, interesting. So, um, I think what's going to happen is nothing's going to be in here this year. Uh, unless they're still working on it and not ready. But, yeah, this is what the wild turnip used to be over here on, uh, right here in the entrance of Frontier Town. Alright, if you're here to ride Snake River Falls, well, you're out of luck. Completely drained. Nothing. Dry as a rock. Look at that. Um, now, I know last year it was uh, at least running during opening weekend, but of course I think it was a little cool. Nobody was riding it, but this year there's not even water in it. So, uh, and the boats are kind of sitting off there on the dock. There's nothing happening over here. So it might be a while till you're able to ride Snake River Falls, but to be honest, the weather's kind of cool anyway. And yeah, there probably wouldn't be anybody riding it. So, but interesting nonetheless. All right, this is pretty cool. They're still working on Wave Swinger right now, getting it back together. And this is what it looks like kind of half assembled. It's down on the ground. They haven't put the swings on yet, but there are parts everywhere. And it's kind of interesting. It always amazes me watching them put these rides together. Just some of the engineering and that that goes into it. But uh, yeah, Wave Swinger looks like they're getting it ready for the summer. All right, we're here at the new Frontier Inn over here in Frontier Town. Let's go inside and see what they have to offer. All right, let's take a look at some of the food offerings here. We have this cold food options here, some fruit, salads, Powerades, waters, energy drinks, and then they have the uh, fountain drinks over here as well. And you pick up your food over here at the uh, counter, and you go over here to the registers and pay for it. So, and they have plenty of seating outside around the port. Uh, no indoor seating, however, as you can see. Uh, that's been replaced with Q-Rails, so. Yeah, that's right here inside the new Frontier Inn at Cedar Point uh, that took over Chick-fil-A's old spot. All right, the biggest thing, the biggest draw to Cedar Point is the rides. And well, it's been a long winter, so let's go ride.
Nope, I'm not in prison. I'm in front of Skyhawk. Uh, so here's the new fence that they put up in front of Skyhawk. Significantly taller than the previous fence that they had. It's got like this metal grating here. Yeah, so it goes all the way around Skyhawk over here. Take a look around the corner. Yeah, I said nothing major, but uh, but it's changed nonetheless. Just thought I'd show it to you guys. Right, if you remember feeding the fish over here near the mine ride, as you can see, they're all gathered in the water right here. Well, sorry to say, the feeders are gone. Yep. Um, I don't know if it's because they're cash free or what's going on, but no more opportunities to feed the fish. So. That's kind of a bummer, man. Um, we always like to throw a quarter in there and uh, feed the fish. It was always entertaining. But, uh, oh, well, maybe they'll bring them out in a little while. But opening weekend, they're not here. Some of you may remember this place as the walking taco stand, kind of right here by the Legacy Brick Walk. But uh, now it is bar 1870, right there. It's not open today. But you can see inside, they are getting ready to open. They got some frozen Cokes, uh, Jack and Cokes, mixed drinks, margaritas, like a alcoholic frozen lemonade there on the window there. But it's not currently open yet. There's no signage on the front of the building. Hi, Raptor. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's some on the side here. 1870, they got Blue Moon, Topo Chico, tw uh, Twisted Tea, uh, Miller Lite and all kinds of uh, various drinks right there. Uh, so when this opens, it's uh, definitely gonna have to come try one of the frozen drinks at bar 1870, right here in the middle of the park, right by the Legacy Brick Walk. Teenage crochet, I ran away from my over in the former home of the Scrambler and Matterhorn and the juice stand used to be right here as well as you can see it is empty it's all grass and landscaping now that's about it nothing going on over here except for this look at this you saw it here first folks we've got markings on the ground got some more over here hmm what can this mean if you have any idea, put it in the comments down below, but let's take a look at the rest of this. That scrambler used to sit right here. And this is over by the restrooms here, by the uh, Skyride station here. Uh, and then Matterhorn used to sit right over here. Man, I'll tell you, it looks a lot smaller over here uh, in the Matterhorn plot than it did when Matterhorn was here. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, it's just grass and landscaping now. And the restrooms are still available right here. But uh, yeah, interesting. I wonder if uh, something's gonna be going on here in the future, if they have some plans, but there are markings on the ground. Um, there's some more markings over here as well. Uh, we can take a quick look at. I'm not sure the meaning behind different colors and all that, I'm not an engineer, but um, we do have some right here. And there are some more markings right here as well. So yeah, interesting. Interesting stuff coming out from this area of the park. So, I mean, this is just uh, simple landscaping that can be removed. Uh, if they had plans to put something else in here with no problem. So pretty cool, I just wanted to show that to you. We're over here near the Luminosity stage. Uh, it looks like they got a set up here, like a new uh, scenery and stage set up for a show that's going to be premiering a little later this summer. It's called Summer Bration, right here. It is June 23rd, right here on the main stage by the train station right in front of Iron Dragon. So here's a look at the stage. Uh, quite different from in years past. It used to be just covered in lights and stuff, and now they actually have uh, like a backdrop and some scenery. and. Cool, it looks like the blue streak right there. You got the track and the, the cupola. 
Very cool. So I'm excited to come back here and check that out. And there's also another show that opens June 3rd. Cedar Point School is out pep rally. Will also be happening here. So make sure you come back this summer when those open up and check them out. Right, another one of the changes this year, if you're looking for the wood carver and he's not there, no worry. He is right over here. They moved him into the candle shop. Um, now, unfortunately, the candle shop is no more, but the good news is the wood shop is still around. So we can go in here real quick and take a look. A lot of people here today, so bear with me. So we're going to take a quick look in here. Now, the Frontier Craft Co. Wood carving, oh, and candle dipping. So they still do have candles as well. And woodworking. Look around. They have a lot of this uh, prepackaged uh, like wood kits you can put together like hot rods and airplanes and motorcycles, that type of thing. And the wood carver is here. He's in the back where they used to make the candles at. Uh, some of you may recognize that piece right there from a former ride that Park used to have, the Suavichin. They used to be the centerpiece of the ride. And here's some of the, the works of art that uh, Woodcarver has carved over the years. And here he is right over here actually. You can see he's carving, currently carving a uh, carousel horse uh, head right there. Awesome. The and then over here is where they have all the candle stuff. So uh, you can still dip candles over here. And then they have some uh, candles that are already made. But right over here, they have several different colors of candles. You know, as you can see here, there's many different colors. You dip the candle in there to whatever color you'd like, and you can bring them home with you. So that's pretty cool. So that's it here from the uh, wood slash candle shop. It's churro. He's so cute. All right, we're at the farmhouse. I got my second meal of the day. I could not wait. I've been craving this all winter long. I got the steak, the Brussels sprouts. It comes with the uh, roll here. And new this year, they have steak sauce. It's like a kind of like a cross between barbecue and A1. It's kind of along those lines. I have a tried it on the steak yet but I kind of had a little taste and my son over here got the same thing I got only he got the corn ribs so and my daughter got the chicken nuggets and the potatoes and a roll so we're gonna dig in and I'll let you know how it is just got done here at the farmhouse and as always it was amazing I, I it's destroyed there's nothing left <laughs> it was delicious I got the steak and now the the new biscuits that they have this year, they see they're a lot bigger than the biscuits they had last year, which is a good thing. They're really, really good. They were soft, buttery, had a really good, really good flavor to them. The steak was awesome as always. Like I said, they do give you steak sauce this year, and it was so good, I didn't even have to use steak sauce. It was, you know, really good. Brussels sprouts were really good as well. Uh, this, this place never disappoints. I'm always happy to come here. So, that's our meal here at the Farmhouse Restaurant. Good news, returning this year is Come See About Me. It's like a Motown review type show here at the Jack Aldrich Theater, which is a really good show. We were able to check it out a few times last year. Uh, now the board does say it opens May 27th, so uh, if you are in the park after May 27th, make sure you come check this show out. It is really, really good. Um, totally impressed with this one. Right, once again, this is at the Jack Aldrich Theater, right in the front of the park. See the carousels right there, and a Raptor is right there. So it's kind of sandwiched between the two, right in the front of the park. Up in the 
the front of the park at the Point Plaza gift shop. They have lots of new Wild Mouse merch available to purchase. If you take a look over here, they have t-shirts, keychains, stickers, beanie hats. Uh, they even had the coaster cutouts available to purchase. Um, right here, we can take a look at one. There's seven in total, and they're 15 bucks a piece. So you can collect all seven. They're all different colors, like here's the pink one. We got light blue, dark blue. I see the yellow. Uh, looks like a purple over there. So they do have all different colors available to purchase. And they also have these like sling backpacks here uh, with zippers on them that are pretty cool too. The Sport and the Mouse logo on there. Uh, there's some hoodies. And then they have shot glasses. Several different colors you can choose from. Some coffee mugs. They even have plushies, wild mouse plushies. Check that out. Form a piece of cheese. Really cool. So once again, that's here at the Point Plaza, right near the front entrance of the park. If you walk directly into the park, it's kind of on your right-hand side, over by the uh, Ocean Motion ride over here. Uh, so if you're looking for some mouse gear, this is the place to be. Just another one of the small improvements they made this year is we're in the area right over here at the exit of Gatekeeper, a little covered area, you know, but they had added tables and chairs, quite a few of them, to this area here, which is a great addition because there was only a couple tables over here in the past and they were hard to come by. So this is really good. They got the Yogurt Plus right here and the Coke Freestyle along with the Lakeside Express. So. If you purchase an item from there, you can come right over here in the shade and enjoy your treats. All right, here we are at day two at Cedar Point's opening weekend. We just uh, checked out of uh, the Ex Cedar Point Express Hotel. And interesting newsflash here, right across where they used to store the uh, mouse coaster pieces over this fence, we now have the flags that were on Dragster's uh, station are right over here. It looks like various pieces of like I-beam and steel that came off the uh, station as well. Uh, over here there's a bunch of, uh, looks like uh, Q-line fencing from Dragster. And then the coverings for Dragster are over there. You can kind of see them. All kinds of pieces from Dragster being staged over here in this little area. So. I assume whatever becomes the dragster, the new pieces and whatnot, may be stored over here as well, as they were with the Wild Mouse Coaster. And they did the same with Val Raven. And uh, I think one of the other coasters they did as well. But uh, here's a look. Right here. Lots of queue line, station flags, and other things. So, pretty interesting. I just wanted to show it to you guys. That's gonna do it from Cedar Point opening weekend 2023. We had a great time. I gotta tell you, a lot of little changes in the park over the off season that really improved the park experience. Uh, the Point Pavilion was absolutely beautiful. The, the, good, the food was good, the staff was great. It was just such a wonderful building. Uh, the boardwalk area was awesome. Um, all the new rides that are placed over here in the signage and that looks great. Uh, Mouse Coaster had some issues throughout the weekend, but it's a new coaster. What do you expect? But uh, we did get on it. And we had a great time. It's a perfect addition to the park. Uh, it's kind of like that family coaster that they've been missing, um, which is great. Once they get all the bugs wrinkled out of that, then uh, I think it's going to be a hit. Um, we did get to check out Farmhouse. They got some things, the Frontier Inn, all kinds of stuff. So uh, again, we had a great time. We'll be back here next weekend 
as well. And we'll do another short video on a few things I didn't get to this weekend. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps us out and really encourages us to uh, bring you more content. So that's it here from Cedar Point. Thanks for watching.